Welcome to All For You Kiss Tower. We are back again with another channel message for the collective. But before we jump right in and get started, I just wanna take a moment and say hi and welcome to new subscribers. I am so, so, so happy to have you on board with us. Thank you for becoming part of the All For You Kiss tribe. As always, it is an absolute honor and blessing to read for each and every single one of you. That being said, we're just gonna jump in. Um, the only thing I felt was necessary to do this morning after I gave these cards a really good shuffle was to just flip the deck and the two cards that kind of spread out and just were staring me back in the face were the Lovers and the Ace of Cups. So I'm taking this to mean that you do have a choice coming up in love. There may, there may be more than one person looking to offer you a cup of love collective. Um, I feel like it may even give you, I hear calls for pause. So you may just stop and have to think about it, put yourself in a hangman to figure out which option might feel best for you. I feel like this, um, I feel like both of these options coming forward are more on the serious end of things, okay? Yeah, they're looking to be on top. Whoever it is, um, they may recognize that there's somebody else kind of vying for the position that they want. Um, one or both of these people that are coming towards you, Collective, may be suffering sleepless nights because they see you as being part of their future. Um, I feel like they're both highly, highly attracted to you. Oh, yeah, especially with that Queen of Wands. Um, you really stand out to these people. I feel like there's something very fiery, very passionate, very sexual about you. I feel like that draws this, these people in. I feel like you also follow your intuition, which may be very apparent. Could even be a little witchy. We always look at that Queen of Wands as if she's just a touch witchy. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um... We love the witches here at Alpha of Yucas Tarot. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I feel like both of them are trying to be very strong. They may even know each other very well, or at the very least be aware that they're in competition with someone. Um, yeah, one may have a past with you, or both. They're looking to offer a very solid offer. Yeah, with with nurturing involved. So I, I feel like you might have two very solid offers coming in. Um, and it will be entirely up to you which one you want to jump in with. Um, I feel like it's it might be a little difficult because I feel like both of them might have really great qualities. It's like you may have gone through a dry spell and there's nobody around as far as the eye can see and you're looking for a very specific thing that looks like it's hard to find. And then um, it's not that it's hard to find, it's just that, you know, sometimes they, they travel in packs, maybe? <laughs> because I feel like two people are coming in at the same time with the right qualities. And I feel like that might just, abs I hear mind blown. Um, I feel like maybe you didn't see this coming. <laughs> Yeah, um, but the way it's looking, Collective, is whoever this is coming in, they're looking um, they're looking to make you theirs. They don't want you to be single anymore. Um, I'm hearing, um, we know you can do it all on, your, all on your own, but we just think you shouldn't have to. So that's the type of energy that's actually coming in for you. I really love it. I feel like you've got somebody that wants to help lift a burden if they feel like you're burdened in any way. Um, they want to kind of share the load with you as, as you walk through life. Yeah, look, golden opportunity. They want to plant that seed and watch it grow. Yeah, I, I feel like you have two soulmates coming in at the same time. You'll just have to really decide which one is completely for you and um, which one isn't. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to say you may feel a little defeated in the beginning. Um, it may be a very tough deci decision and it may make you feel kind of bad um, because I, it's like they're both great guys or they're both great girls. It's like, I just don't know which one is best, but I feel like what's going to really win out in the end is the one that feels like they could provide emotional fulfillment. Both may be able to physically take care of you, monetarily take care of you. So they all might be, I hear well off or um, well balanced. So I feel like 
those two things may come as extras. I feel like you're already able to take care of yourself. Um, so I don't know if that's necessarily something you're looking for or more like that's just a bonus because they're pretty stable just like I am, right? Um, but I do feel like the one that's going to win out is the one that shows you they can be emotionally fulfilling. So it's like fulfilled on all levels is kind of how you're going to feel with this person. That might help you figure out. It's like if one tends to your feelings and your emotions and the other maybe doesn't mention it, it's like it's almost like a clear winner because it's like there's so much of a tie that you're just looking for that one tiebreaker thing. And I feel like that's how you'll know. Yeah, I feel like one will be a little more reserved when it comes to their feelings. The other will be more expressive and more open about that. I feel like, yeah, it's still hard though. I feel like you're not going to want to race forward. I feel like you're really going to try and feel it out so you can make the best well-informed decision for yourself. Uh, in your future moving forward. You know, partners are a big deal. Um, let's see, nine of wands. Yeah, um, I feel like you may be actually just waiting for them to show you. It's like, I feel like you're waiting for the onslaught or you're waiting for the arguments or you're waiting for something to happen. But if, I almost kind of feel like in that way, those things never come. But what does show up is uh, emotional fulfillment. And I feel like that's when you're just gonna be like, what am I doing? I need to, you know, grab this while it's here. It's like, I hear strike while the iron's hot or um, grab what's for me while it's available. It's like, I hear time waits for no one. So yeah, I feel like you're gonna feel very balanced around one of these people as well, maybe emotionally balanced, like things are more calm. This person may provide a sense of calm and kind of like that health and well-being. And I feel like that's another way you're going to be able to tell. You may be looking into both of these people, which is fair, <laughs> trying to figure out which one seems uh, better than the other. You may be trying to, I heard trying to dig into the past, just like maybe look back on the profiles to see kind of, you know, if, if you saw a relationship there, um, how they kind of went back and forth. Did they kind of attack that person on social media? It's like you're kind of looking for different um, markers to see who might be the most mature, because it's like they can show you a whole lot of good and, you know, be showcasing the good, but you definitely want to look for any red flags. And I feel like that's the type of person that you are. You're looking for any reason that you should maybe pass on a certain, yeah, you're looking for the one you want to pass on. It's like, I feel like they both come across and I feel like they're both genuinely good people but I feel like there's going to be one that beats out the other. Yeah, I hear one you're gonna send packing and one you're gonna go packing and, you know, head off with. It's like, you're gonna choose a direction, I feel like. Yeah. I feel like it, it, it doesn't come without feeling burdened. I feel like you're going to feel burdened because it's like inevitably you have to let someone down. And if you're anything like me where you're a little more passive, that's really hard to do. It's like, you don't like to let people down. Um, even if it is in a kind way, it's just, it's really hard. So, um, I could see that being something that, you know, you feel bad for, especially if they're both really great guys or really great girls. Right. Um, but that is what is coming up. It is always entirely up to you. I'm just the reader. I'm just letting you know kind of what's coming up, what you have in store for you. It is always first and foremost up to you about what you want and which direction you want to go in. So I'd never tell you what to do, only what's available. All right, let's see. Okay. I was drawn to an older deck, which I absolutely love, but I haven't used in a while. So we're going to see what's going on here. All right. Told to take it and the sun and spirit. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. You have a golem here. Um, and I like to see this golem because it says a close friend acts on your behalf. So this is someone who's kind of protecting you from the sidelines. Um, this may be someone who, um, you know, there are people who will talk behind your back and then there are people who will defend you when you're not there. 
you have someone around you that will defend you when you're not there. Um, so this is a friend acting on your behalf. This could be a friend that wants to be lover, could be for some. For others, this is just a friend and it's completely platonic, but they, they always have your back and they're real about it. Um, I feel like your perseverance is rewarded. I, I feel like for the majority of you though, this specific friendship, I feel like there is or could be a romantic twist to it. I feel like this could be friend turned lover. Um, I don't feel like that is why this person defends you to, you know, in order to kind of win you over. I don't feel like that's it at all. I do feel like this is a very genuine loving person that really just cares for you and has your back. It's like, no matter what way it goes, it's like, you're my guy or you're my girl. And it's like, I, I'm not going to even listen to people who are talking crap about you. I'm going to shut it down. I hear shut that shit down real fast. So, um, I feel like there is someone that defends you and I feel like spirits on deck um, not only for you, but for this person, it's like, I feel like they might start showcasing this person in a different light for you. I, I was seeing like a ray of light and it kind of sh shining down on a singular person in a crowd. So it's like, I feel like you're all of a sudden going to notice someone and it's like, this person may have been around you for years or this person may have just been, you know, kind of around in the group or but I feel like all of a sudden you're just going to see them differently. I feel like that spirit's doing. I feel like they want you to see the good in this person. So that way there is an opportunity if you so choose to take it. Um, for a love thing to, to bloom. I feel like this would be the type of person that you wouldn't have to worry about darkness looming on the horizon with this person. It's like, are they going to do me wrong? Are they going to do me dirty? I feel like there's not even a thought there. And I feel like because you know this person defends you, they may come back and tell you all the time. It's like so-and-so was trying to start crap about you. Just so you know, they're not a really good friend. I would watch out for that one or watch what you say around that one. Or maybe put some distance. It's like... um, you know, just FYI, so you're protecting yourself. It's like that person's not a friend. And I feel like that's something you're going to realize that jumping into something with this person would actually be a safe option. It's like, I don't know if that comes as a surprise or a shocker. Like maybe you've never actually had that safe option, but I kind of feel like this person coming in is, is that, or the way you see them now is that. Um, we do have the caduceus. So it says you will receive news from afar. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of getting like roundabout. I don't know if you're nervous Co collective. I kind of feel like you might be the one who's nervous. It's like all of a sudden you see this person in a different light and you realize they're a keeper and it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, now I'm nervous. It's like where maybe you were never nervous around this person before. It's like maybe you never realized the way their eyes look in that specific light or, you know, like how nice and tall they are or, um, you know, it's like or how nice they're dressing or it's like just certain things that you never kind of looked at before, how great their smile is. It's like all of a sudden you start noticing these things. You might be a little nervous. You may be kind of sending an around about message to kind of let this person know that you're interested. It's like, I feel like you may be the one who's a little nervous about kind of divulging that to this person. It's like, and I don't know if there's a little fear, like maybe we could ruin the friendship and it's like this person's an actually really good friend, but it's like, I don't want to miss taking that opportunity. Yeah. I feel like there's going to be a serendipitous uh, moment where the two of you just kind of get thrown together. It says bright new prospects are on the horizon. And I feel like spirits just kind of letting you know, it's like this person's maybe been waiting but would never say. And it's like, they're fine with just being your friend because they love being in your energy. But if there's the opportunity to become something more, I feel like this could really soar. This could really be something wonderful. I feel like this person would always shield you and protect you. It says safe from harm. 
And I feel like this person would always be that type of person. You'd always feel safe around them, safe with sharing personal things with them. I feel like you could share your feelings with this person and they'd never leave this person's mouth. It, it would never, it would go into their ears and never leave them. They would never tell a soul because I feel like they're really, um, I don't know, they've just got the right stuff, whatever that is. It's like they were they were made the right way or they were raised the right way. They just, I feel like they really mesh with you well. I feel like there's no comparison between this person and others. Yeah, they kind of look at you as someone they, they could easily protect. Um, so whether, okay, I'm being told to say whether it's masculine and feminine, whether it's feminine and feminine or masculine and masculine, right? Um, or... There are a bunch of other options, but we're not going to go into all that. But it doesn't matter um, because this is just energy. And I, I, that's what I kind of want to get across. It's it's energy. So it's like there's a protector and there's like must protect baby type of energy. And it's like whoever baby is, that's okay. But I feel like baby is you, <laughs> collective. And I feel like this person looks at you and it's like even if you're not completely helpless, um, you could be very tough. You could be really great at taking care of yourself and standing up for yourself. This person just thinks you shouldn't have to. And I really kind of love that. I feel like that's a really nice way to be when you care about somebody. It's like you don't stand for people talking crap behind their back or you stand up for this person. You're not afraid to um, stand tall in the face of adversity. It's like, even if those people were, you know, people you considered your friends, it's like if they're acting up, you're going to be the first, to, this person's going to be the first to say something. Now, I did say yours. So you could flip it. You might be this golem. You might be the one. And your person that you protect all the time might be secretly harboring some type of feelings towards you. Um, I feel like it's just very recent and it's very new and it might be a little frightening. It's a change in dynamic. It's a shift in the power. It's it's um, evening the playing field. So we do have the chimera in reverse. Imagination clouds your judgment. So it's like, you know, maybe... Whoever this soft person is, the maiden in this case, whether you're masculine or feminine, I feel like you may be a little worried that um, your imagination is clouding your judgment when it comes to this person. It's like you may be thinking, well, maybe they don't actually like me like me like I like them now. It's like maybe they're just being kind or, you know, maybe I'm putting something where it's not. And I feel like that may be slow, slowing you down or slowing uh, this person down. I feel like... Um, like I said, I keep hearing power shift, shift in dynamic. It's like um, all of a sudden this person throws you for a loop. All of a sudden this person makes you really nervous. Uh, passion and romance await with seduction. Um, I feel like that's in reverse. Um, <laughs> I feel like there's a friendly basis here. And I feel like not that I don't think that there's attraction, but I feel like the person who finds out, whoever it is, I feel like it's going to start out slow because there is that friendship there. I feel like it will eventually turn to this uh, this passionate encounter type thing. But I feel like straight out the gate, right off the bat, this is first and foremost a friendship. So um, it's going to be one of those slow burners and that's slow to build, but it's going to be really gorgeous. I feel like it's going to get there. It's just, it doesn't start off that way. It doesn't burn hot and fast and then burn out like that match. It it's like a, a, you know, a brush that a brush fire that turns into like a forest fire. It's one of, one of those things, and and I feel like it steady burns for a really long time. It's like, um, I feel like that's the energy going on here. I don't know why those were the examples, but they are. <laughs> All right, yeah, your secrets are safe. And I feel like that's one of the things you realize. It's you can tell this person anything, absolutely anything, and it would never go further than their ears. It would never tumble out of their mouth. I feel like that's one thing that you really adore about this person. It's like maybe you've been slow to kind of open up to anybody because maybe the one time that you did, it just didn't end up well. It didn't turn out well. It's like your personal things were somehow strewn all over the group or um, 
people that you didn't tell it to were kind of mouthing it back to you. And that's a really crappy thing. That's a really crappy experience, right? Um, especially when you say, can you, can you keep a secret or can, can I trust you with this? And I feel like you may have been someone that hadn't trusted people in a very long time um, or hadn't trusted anyone in a long time. You may have tested this person as well. It's like with little bits and pieces of information to see if they'd go blabbing about it, you know. I feel like they never did. Anything else? Yeah, good fortune and friendship. Yeah, this is what this is. It's good fortune and friendship. Um... And that new relationship is going to bloom and blossom. I really love it. I feel like you've got a really great person uh, on the line there. I would say coming in, but I feel like this person's already been in. It's just a matter of switching up the dynamic. So either you're going to be brave or this person's going to be very brave. Um, I love that. I really do. I think it's great. All right. I was drawn to the cherubs, a little romance deck today. So I feel like we might have romance on the menu. Some of you may be having something come up for you. I feel like that is something. Okay, so difficulties. Jealous from Jealousy from others may serve as obstacles to the success of this connection. Okay, so relationships, not all of them come without obstacles obstacles. In fact, the majority of them come with obstacles included. It's like all inclusive thing there. It's like, um, I do feel like this person coming in may be a very attractive person, maybe a very friendly person may, uh, a lot of people may know this person that's coming in. I feel like this person that's coming in for you collective, I feel like they've got some staged I don't know, I heard stage five Klingon. So it's like, and I'm seeing the groupies card from another deck. So I kind of feel like they have a bunch of groupies. These groupies aren't feeling fabulous about the fact that this person is coming in your direction. Okay, because I hear end all be all. So it's like, I feel like this person may have been one for the crowd and has now decided to change their mind and become uh, a one woman man or, you know, vice versa. It's like, I feel like they've just decided that you're it you're the one you've got what it takes you're you've got what they're looking for and they don't want to miss out on it i feel like they could be very vocal about this in their group um yeah actions speak louder than words if you want to know what someone is feeling watch what they are doing and i feel like that's the thing this person not only is talking the talk but they're about to walk the walk and I feel like they're coming in your direction that's causing a stir back here with uh the groupies or you know guy girl doesn't matter I feel like um there are a lot of people who don't want to see this person uh commit to a certain person uh to commit to any one certain person the fact that it's you though I feel like bothers people because they know that you have what it takes to go the long haul with this person or to really wrap this person up for the for the long haul. It's it's got that energy. I feel like maybe a lot of these people had patience. Um they were still waiting for this person to choose them. I hear pick me's, a bunch of pick me's. So when they realized that all that they were doing, bending over backwards trying to appeal to this person, you know, is in fact no comparison to you. And I feel like you're not one of those pick me's. You're kind of off doing your own thing. You're focused, you're self-focused, you're winning. Um, and I feel like to that person, per to that person coming towards you, you're a breath of fresh air. You're, you're just, um, you're just a little different. And I feel like that different is what becomes valuable to this person. It's like you've walked in another direction and I feel like it's not that you couldn't care less. It's just that, you know, if nothing comes from it, it's okay. I'll, I'll move in this direction and, you know, I'm not going to miss a beat. I'm not going to miss a step. It's like, good luck to you. I know you'll find what you're looking for and I'm off in my own direction. And I feel like that's really valuable to this person. It's like, you can hold it down on your own. But I'm thinking this person is looking at themselves and thinking, well, damn, I'm a really great option. So, you know, maybe I want to, I hear lock it down. So this person has a mind to lock it down for the future. And they're not looking at the groupies. They're not looking at the ones that have been, oh my God, I don't want to say that. Um, I heard doorknobs and I'm not going to explain it, but that's just, you know, a thing. But um, they're not looking for that behavior. They're not looking for somebody who's been with everybody. Um, so it's like, I feel like, 
they're looking for someone who has self-respect. They're looking, for, they're, they're not going to choose someone that they don't feel that they can almost kind of show off to the crowd. It's like, this person is not like that at all. And I feel like that's what makes you valuable collective. It's because you just move a little differently. You have self-respect. And I feel like that's something that this particular person is looking for. Look, I'm not saying if you hop around, you're not a high value person. I'm not saying that at all. In this person's mind and the way they're seeing things, this is you being a high value person. And that's their thoughts on it specifically. I'm not saying anything about anyone else. You are free to do with your body whatever it is you want to do and whoever. <laughs> um, that's your thing. I don't need to know about it, but it's your thing. Um, but that's how this person is looking at it. They want someone they can show off to the crowd. And do I think it's a touch ego? Yes. Um, do I feel like it's with bad intention? No. Um, I feel like this person could be a really good option. And I feel like there could be a deepening of this connection. And I feel like when this person gets it in their mind that that's what they want, that's where they're going, they win. Um, period, point blank, they win. They know what they want. They go for it. They, I, I feel like this person would use every ounce of charm that they have, every tool in the, at their disposal to win this situation that they want. And do I feel like this person will come out victorious? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I do. I feel like this person would be nearly irresistible. And I feel like only because I'm hearing it's a certain vibration that they're carrying. And I feel like when they decide to put it on and they're doing it because they want something to go the long haul, they're not going to quit until they have it. And I feel like they're going to show you and showcase all of their really amazing, uh, their talents, their um, their personality. It's like they're really going to shine and they're not going to just shine for you. I feel like they're going to impress everyone around you. That's just this person. Um, do I think they're a good catch? Yeah, I do. I feel like um, it, they don't come without a touch of ego, but I feel like they're that boss. It's like, and that's what I hear that boss man or boss lady. And I feel like that's just how they show up. And when they win, they win. Um, and that's what keeps coming to, and I hear period point blank. And I hear, um, it's like making money moves is what I hear. I feel like this person is that type of person. Um, do I think you'll be swept off your feet? Kinda. <laughs> I kinda do, yeah. Um, it might be a nice feeling if you allow it, um, if that's what you're looking for. But I, yeah, I feel like um, it says free yourself. And I feel like... Maybe free yourself from the thought that you have to do it all alone. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. Um, yeah, open yourself up to love. That's kind of what I was getting. Be honest. Um, you may be like, that's not the type of person I would even think to go for. But I feel like I hear be honest. It's like if somebody was coming for you and, and you know, in that way, would you really say no? I don't know. I feel like it's really funny. I feel like I want to laugh or I want to giggle. Like, I feel like um, your friends may be joking with you like, oh, come on, you know they're perfect for you. You're just trying to be, I hear a hard ass. You're just trying to like, you know, say that that's not your type of thing. But I feel like, um, I don't know. I feel like this is a person you could be proud of too. I feel like that's what it really comes down to. I feel like this person, yeah, they may be a little ego. They may show off a little bit, but I feel like they've worked really hard to get to that point. And so, you know, I kind of hear like, let them have their fun, right? Let them win you over. Let them be that knight in shining armor or whatever it is that they want to show up. However it is they want to show up for you. I feel like let them do that. They want to show up big and bring flowers and chocolates and the teddy bear too. Let them. They want to, um, you know, take you out somewhere special on a fancy dinner, let them, right? It's like, you know, be treated. It's, I feel like maybe you've been with a lot of people who don't, um, who, who don't know how to treat you or who've never known how to actually kind of woo you in a way. I feel like this person's going to pull out all the stops and it's because they've got winning on their mind. And I feel like they're not going to stop once they have you either. It's like they realize you're a rarity and so they're going to keep doing what they do. I feel like this is the type of person who will come home after, a, you know, come home to you, their wife or their husband, and they'll be like, guess what I did today? And they're still going to want to impress you. They're still going to want to come home and, and bring you something special or... Um, 
this is the just because type of person. I really like this. I really, I really feel like this is really fun. You may have had a past life with this person. So there may be something more there underneath of it all. There's um, that soulmate bond. Yeah, have faith. I feel like um, it says the angels are working behind the scenes to make this relationship flourish. And I feel like that's kind of what it is too. Um, wow. Yeah, look, we have magnetic connection and I kind of feel like that's what, yeah, look, it's true love. Wow. And this part, this person could be a new person. Um, I feel like for the majority of you, it's going to be a newer person. Does this mean you don't know them from the past? No, I can't say that for sure. Um, you may have seen this person in circles or know of this person, but I feel like this person, as far as dating wise, is going to be a new to you person. I really love it. Um, yeah, pay attention to the signs. I feel like in synchronicities, because I feel like this is coming. I feel like you might, um, it, you might get really nervous or find yourself getting really nervous if this is for you. Like that might be the energy you're carrying right now. It's like excited but nervous. Um, that might be Spirit's way of kind of telling you that that's for you, this particular reading. Because um, I feel like whoever I'm talking to, um, the thought of, you know, being swept away uh, by somebody is a little nerve wracking for you. So, uh, but I think it'll be a really sweet thing. I feel like it's a good deal. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have. Oh, wow. I guess we're still flowing with that energy. We have Cupid. Love is in the air when Cupid is around. Um, this may be a continuation. I am seeing a tether, so, okay. Spirit wants to say, for those of you who are looking to rekindle something with someone from the past, that is also coming through today. Um, so we have the new and then tethering. And I feel like it might be the same type of situation. This may be a past person who's coming in because now they want to sweep you off your off your feet. They want to uh, wine and dine you. They want to romance you. And they have a mind to take it all the way into the future. It's like they want to grow old with you. I'm seeing a card from another deck. So, um, and I'm seeing the lily in my head, which symbolizes innocence. So, um, yeah, there may be a rekindling. I feel like this may come as a huge surprise to you. Um, <laughs> it may put you all up in your head. Um, I feel like, you know, you may be trying to like backtrack to think of how this happened. What did I do? What did I say? Um, or what made this person come back around? I feel like, um, I feel like this is also going to make you a little nervous. It's like, I feel like the behavior for you, um, maybe you've never been treated that way ever. It's like, maybe you've never been um, the center of someone's romance. And it's like that type of energy, maybe a little, um, if you're shy or if you're like a nervous person, um, you may never have really experienced that type of, you know, way someone's coming in, but I feel like, yeah, it's going to inspire all sorts of feelings. Um, and I'm hearing, accept it, accept that this is a new, beautiful experience. Yeah. And spirits taking you towards union. Holy crap, recognize union when it's there. Oh my gosh. And I want to say don't create a barrier um, to this person. It's like accept that this is how they're coming in. Accept that this is new experience for you. The universe is on deck. I feel like divine's on deck. They really want to guide this towards. It says the universe is guiding you towards that special someone. Just let everything take its course. So don't fight it. And I feel like that's what Spirit's trying to say. You don't have to fight it. Um, I feel like the faster it will kind of come in and reach balance, um, if you don't fight this connection, your connection is eternal and unbreakable. Um, I love this. I feel like this is a really gorgeous high level soulmate connection and I feel like everything's just coming on board. Look, marriage is in the forecast and I feel like that's going to become very, very clear. Uh, yeah, they're going to enlighten you when it comes to this situation. Uh, that this is what's coming in. These cards are amazing, by the way. The energy in these things, what are these called? Um, the uh, card Telepathy Oracle, a 56 card deck, uh, the Telepathy Oracle. These are really great. Um, I'm loving these. Um, if you read cards, you might like the energy of these. It's really kind of high vibe. 
Um, okay, so we have the heart. It's, yeah, this is a heart-based something here. Um, yeah, this is something you're going to cherish and embrace. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, this commitment is something super special. It's like breathe in the moment. Accept the moment and enjoy the moment. Um, stay present. I really love this. You are attracting this. This is someone you can trust and you can be open with. This is someone that will honor and protect you. And I feel like you'll do the same for this person. They see your value. And I feel like there's always been telepathy between your two hearts. There is strength in this connection. Just keep looking. You'll see it. It's observing this. It's like you'll see. It's going to be easy to put down those roots. I love it. I feel like this person may have been studying you for a while and they realize what true love actually is because they feel these intense feelings and they feel like it's time to step forward now. They've had some sort of indication and they're ready for a reconciliation. Wow. Okay. I'm blown away. Spirit just literally never ceases to amaze me. My hands are shaking with this energy. It's huge. Um, this could be happening very, very soon. I literally cannot wait to get this message out. Wow. So amazing, Collective. If this is for you, will you tell me, come back and tell me in the comments? I swear I will be able to read it. Um, I would love to hear about it. If your person from the past comes back in and they come back in like this, let me know. Or even the one before this, if you've got a new person coming in and that love is just really amazing and they sweep you off your feet, tell me about it, please. I'd love to hear it. Um, it's great energy. Wow. All right. I think this is my last one. I'm going to step into this animal deck. I've just been told to take it. Okay. All right. So we've had the new love the beautiful soul connections. We've had the high level soulmate connections. Now we're going twin flame. So we've just hit every level of soulmates. So love is coming in for absolutely everyone. Um, look at this. I hear it's time to open up. We have the oyster in reverse. Wow. It's time to open up. It's like, it's time for this to be, it's like almost like a rebirthing of Wow, I'm just blown away. The energy is so good. It's like so good. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's a new innocent beginning. Um, I really love this. Oop, we have a card that just flew. It is the, oh, it's this spiritual energy if I can reach it. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like I heard divine blueprint and I hear shocking. Um, this is a very high level soulmate connection. I feel like everybody's got love coming in. If you're listening, the opportunity for love is ridiculously high. I feel like you could really come into contact with someone that wants to go the long haul. Um, and I know you might be saying, yeah, that's not for me. Um, it could be. Uh, don't discount it because I feel like if you're listening, my hands are literally shaking. This energy is so high. Wow. I'm gonna try and ground myself just a, a little bit. Yeah, I hear this is a beautiful thing. Um, I feel like this is someone that is, um, you know, this is like a twin flame connection. They're coming in, they're ready to show off and show up big uh, with this peacock. It might be shocking to you. You may not have seen this coming. You may have thought that this was long gone. Um, I feel like that's who I'm talking to when it comes to this particular twin flame experience here. Um, I feel like new innocence is coming in. I feel like you've got a whole new, um, it's like a whole new life within a life. I feel like your person may be, um, I, I wanted to say high value. Your person may be out there. Your person may be up on a platform. Um, or it could be you. I feel like they may have people all around them that can't wait to swarm you and talk to you and get to know you and become part of this new situation here. This could be a complete turnover. It's like, I don't know if before that these people were having an adverse reaction to you. Now that could be very possible, especially in a twin flame connection. There'll be people that will stand in its way until it's time to come together. And then all of a sudden those same people are going, no, no, this is your person. We can see it now. It's like, it's like everybody are players in the in the vibration until divine says it's time and that's that's how it comes forth it's like 
there may be new people who want to get to know you or um, they may want to just pull you into the center with them so everybody can get to know you. It's like they want to show you off. They want everybody to know that you're theirs. Um, and I feel like they want to be playful and they want to have fun. They want to share new experiences with you. Um, I feel like this is someone that you probably have a really lovely connection with. I feel like it just feels good. It's that feel good connection and you might not have found it anywhere else. Um, they probably haven't found the same vibration anywhere else. It's like the way that they can interact with you, it's a sense of play. And I feel like that's just, it's like the inner child dances when you're around and it's the same thing with you. It's like something within you just gets really happy and really excited. And I feel like to a level that you've not experienced before, that's the kind of energy that this person invokes within you and you within them. Um, and they feel like they don't want to live life without that. Why should they have to, right? Um, why should they have to say no to something that feels so good or feels so right? How could it be wrong? the answer is it's not, right? Um, if it feels good, I hear if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, then obviously it's a duck, right? Um, do I think that there will still be people around who um, will try to thwart this connection even after it's together? Absolutely. There, you know, when you radiate with a really high level, um, especially in a twin flame connection, um, there's always going to be someone who is going to try and tear it down because they want something like that for themselves. They're kind of taking it out on the two of you. That's just something that happens, but I feel like the bond is so strong and you'll have an army of people around the two of you that will just want to be part of the energy because I feel like the energy surrounding the two of you just feels good. And I feel like there are going to be a lot of people, friends, family members that gravitate towards the two of you because being around the two of you brings up their energy, makes them feel happy, makes them feel good. Um, and I feel like they'll very clearly recognize that as well. This is very much a lead by example type energy. Um, I feel like don't get discouraged about this. I feel like there's always new levels, new devils. That's just the way it goes. It happens the same way in relationships. Don't let that be a deterrent from you to experiencing something so beautifully meant for you, right? Something so spiritually meant for you. I feel like this is going to be mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, vibrationally. It's going to have, it's going to tick all those boxes. This is big. Yeah, this is, I, I hear the eye of divine. It's like, this is what's supposed to come together when it's supposed to come together. I feel like it's coming in very, very soon. Wow. Yeah, the depth is going to be insane. The depth of the connection between the two of you is insane. Um, yeah, I hear, I hear the two of you are not supposed to fit. It's like you fit in everywhere but nowhere at the same time. And I feel like that's kind of like a key thing in these high level soulmate connections. Wow, my hands are shaking. Um, I feel like, yeah, this is just, I feel like the energy is just different here. It's like this is two, two dragons. I wanted to say spiritual dragons. It's like coming together. This is really big energy. This is really big twin flame energy. I love it. I feel like the resilience, um, the two of you have maybe had to be very resilient until coming into a union with each other, especially when it comes to love. I feel like there may have been a lot of people who would utilize you for your energy, try to slow you down, try to stomp out your light, um, try to take from you. Um, because that level of light that kind of emanates from the both of you is hard for anyone to handle. And I feel like the two of you are meant to be able to vibe high together. And that's why it works. And that's why there's reciprocity. That's why it comes out even, right? Um, I feel like in other connections, it's like used and abused might have been like the dynamic because it's like their energy was too hard to handle or yours was. It's like you shine too bright. Um, they don't have a pair of shades that's, you know, strong enough to, you know, not blind them when they're, you know, vibrationally when they're with you. And I feel like that's why things were kind of really off balance. Um, the energy is going to be super high. It's going to be really gorgeous. I'm loving this. This is so much fun. God, I want to know. Again, please tell me <laughs> if this is for you. Yeah, look, we've got the unicorn coming in. Um, this is just something very special, very unique, very different. Um, this is not for everyone, but I feel like 
you'll know if this is for you. You'll know if this is the type of connection that you've got coming in. Again, don't worry about the sharks. They're going to circle. Um, but I almost feel like they might be circling, but there's so much in their way anymore, or there will be, that they won't even come close to knocking this down. Not that I think they ever could. The bond that the two of you will have will be so powerful that I feel like a lot of people who maybe even thought to come in to try and shatter that bond will be deterred by the 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 light that you guys kind of emanate together so it's really gorgeous energy do I think it's going to be easy peasy and you're just going to sail through life with this person no are you going to have ups and downs and in-betweens like any normal couple yes but as far as the vibration goes and the spiritual connection this is a super high level okay yeah I, I wanted to say almost unheard of so I feel like that this one's quite rare but I feel like there's somebody out there listening that this is for um or a couple somebodies, a rare few somebodies. And um, I feel like you've got it coming in for you very, very soon. Okay, we're gonna do initials. Yours, theirs, I wanna pour. So we've got a lot of love coming in. Wow. As I'm hearing something like um, somebody asking as far as what are the signs, like what signs are involved. Um, I don't want to put a cap on it by saying any certain signs. Um, I do feel like you could be any sign, but you'll know by the energy um, that I've described. So whether it's just um, a really loving soulmate that comes in, you know, the connection's really sweet. It's really, um, it's really friendship based and then it turns into something kind of romantic. I feel like that could be, it, it, it has a sweet soulmate vibe, right? It's just sweetness. Um, that's probably more along the soulmate end of things. They can kind of be your best friend and your lover, right? And then, not that the others can't, but I feel like going towards um, the higher level soulmates, I feel like there's a spiritual aspect to it that maybe there is some type of a mission, right? Um, that two of you are maybe working on separately. You're kind of uh, speaking up for a cause. Could be something like that, right? Um, and then once you get higher, I feel like it's really just a vibrational match and leading by example. And then there's spiritual, I mean, there are tons of spiritual undercurrents in that twin flame dynamic. Okay, so that, that's kind of how I could explain it. Wow, I'm so exhausted now. I'm just realizing it's like coming down. <laughs> All right. Is there anything we want to talk about? Now we're just going to let the people check out for their initials, yours, theirs. You could see dates, numbers. You could see um, a birth date. All right. I just saw, I saw DM. Yeah, Divine Masculine. All right. All right, let's see. What do we have for this gorgeous collective? Other, other messages. What do we have? All right. Wow, here's the ancestor hand. And since nothing directly fell in it, all of this is, in fact, um, the gift. We have the Pegasus here, which I'm not um, surprised to see. I feel like there's going to be like a divine magic at play. And I feel like for all the soulmates, whether you're regular soulmates or divine soulmates or, you know, all of it's divine, all of it's beautiful and worthy and wonderful. Um, it's like even people who are on high level soulmate paths, can you step into um, a regular soulmate connection and find happiness and joy in it? absolutely it could still be really really beautiful and take you throughout life um it's just certain people are meant for certain connections and none i, I want to say no connection is better than another there's no snobbery going on like oh if you're not in a twin flame connection you're not um you're not a high level soul person no that's not the case at all it's like some incarnate for certain um vibrations they carry certain vibrations higher levels of or they're able to carry higher levels of vibration within their physical body so they can emanate for the collective it's actually like the twin flames are more not so much for the relationship i mean it'll come in when it comes in if it's meant to but um 
it's not for the sexual pleasure. It's not for the, um, the friendship or the love or the romance. That's not its purpose, right? Versus a soulmate connection, it's to experience that love, that affection, that sweetness, that back and forth, that reciprocity. Um, all of them are for learning, but I feel like the higher level ones, the higher levels that you go in, it's for grander purpose. It's incarnating to share a vibration. Um, it's not for the love and the experience of that just romantic experience. That's just a bonus when you get up here, right? So it's like, it has nothing to do with who's higher level soul. It's like, it's what they incarnated to do. It's a job, really. It's You've signed up for a job down here on earth as you walk your regular life and have other things and responsibilities to take care of as well. So that's kind of how I want to explain it. There's no snobbery going on. We don't do that here. Um, everybody's just as important as everybody else. Everybody has a big, beautiful role to play. Um, I think you're all amazing. No matter what spiritual level you're on, where you're at, I feel like we're all doing really great things while we're here. I think um, we have a really big, beautiful collective out there. We do have forever, and I feel like that's kind of the theme of today. It's like, um, I do wanna say that a lot of you that have these relationships coming in, You've got a forever partner coming in. And I feel like that's what Spirit's trying to say. It's like, for a lot of you, this person coming in, um, they're they're taking you through this life. And I feel like, or the rest of it, right? Um, I feel like this is the long haul, right? Or it's going to be a thing for a really long time, okay? Um, that's the rose key. And I feel like there is romance going to be going on here. And I feel like... It's going to be a theme in all of them, um, but like I said, there's just significant amounts of more work as you get higher up, so it's not just the romance. <laughs> it's not just the sweetness and the fun, um, and I'm hearing spirits say this is a gift for everyone. This is a gift for everyone coming in. Um, you are the gift. You're sharing your gifts. Um, the two of you coming together will share gifts with the world and those around you. And I feel like that's for every level. I feel like you share your happiness, you share your joys, you show um, kind of what's important and you set an example for others out there to know that they don't have to settle for less than a really beautiful connection. Um, they don't have to sell themselves short. And I feel like there's a ton of transformation to be had, not just for you, but for everyone around you, everyone that gets to see you. This is all for transmutation of lower energies, lower thought forms. This is showing others that it can be done. This is a gift divine is sharing with you so you can in turn share it with everyone else. That is what's coming through. It is um, gorgeous, gorgeous energy. I'm just kind of blown away and now I'm kind of like, <laughs> I'm kind of exhausted now today for sure. I'm taking a nap. Okay, everyone, that is what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of this Alfie Yuka's tribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.